Blue line drops, red line rallies. So we're obviously looking at that and saying, um, this is obviously fast money manipulation. Yeah, so this is a fast money spoof, right? This is a fast money spoof coming in just there. So obviously this is a fast money manipulation. So that we obviously understand that this is a fast money manipulation, which is the same as basically a stop run, which means that this is a buy trade. Well, if that's a buy trade, blue below red, well, what was this up here? What was this here? Blue above red must be a sell trade, right? That narrative must be a sell trade. So obviously that sell is where I got my sell trade into the markets. And I've just made myself $33,000. $33,000 in that quick sell. Not bad. Not bad at all. Not exactly a big size trade either. So uh, 33 grand on that trade is pretty good. So when we're looking at this, we can start to recognize some basic concepts. So we can see that this looks like manipulation phase here. This looks like a manipulation phase starting to happen here, right? So you can see that we get a bit of a fast money sell here. There's no reason for it except pure manipulation. Okay, so we can see that fast money sell, no reason for it. So I'm starting to think that this is a walk away. I am thinking that the, the markets are probably finished for the time being at least, bearing in mind that this is a five second chart. So I'm thinking a big high volume down candle is probably gonna start causing a, a jam at the bottom edge. And into the bottom edge there, we can start to see that the price starts to see bigger volumes, smaller candles. So I think this is probably the walkaway trade, the bottom edge narrative. So that's gonna be my walkaway trade there. And obviously from that point, we didn't get exactly very far, but nonetheless, we're starting to understand the concept of this storyline. Remember, it's the start of the walkaway. It's not the start of a buy trade because I haven't seen any buy narratives coming out to play just yet. I haven't seen any buy narratives coming out to play just yet. So obviously it's only the starting point. It's only the starting point. So you can see that the next big buy came in here. There's the next buyer there. And you can see that that had the big volume on a sm very small candle. So because this was the starting point, this is where you'd start paying attention. And you can see what's happened to that buy trade. You've already seen it. It's already started to go nicely bid away from that narrative. And this is obviously uh, this is obviously more toxic. So this was a buy HFT just here. So we can mark that level on our charts. That's a buy HFT level. So if there's a buy HFT, it tells us that below that price must have been a commercial buyer. Otherwise, why did that buyer come into play? So this must be commercial. So we then can mark that commercial buyer there for the time being. Okay, so we can now mark these areas as areas of interest for a long position if we see the similar things happening again, coming into the charts. Make sense? Well, I think it makes perfect sense. And it's a nice buy trade, by the way. So actually done pretty good money. Done pretty good money there. 